Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent, somebody sent me this file I asked them to. And they're making, evidently making a rubber stamp. And this is actually a font. So we're going to take this font and convert it to a curve. And as you can see, it's, it's hairlines. So you would want to nudge those out of the way. This thing's only two inches, so I want to make the nudge three. I'm going to smart fill this in and then move it out of the way and then take my lines. Whoop. We've got to go and break contour apart and then hit delete and you've deleted your lines. Now this does not have an outline, so it's just a fill. So you can nudge it back. So the red lines will cut out and the black will engrave. Now, if you're making a stamp, and I don't know about other lasers, but inside an epilogue laser, they have a stamp mode that will do just the opposite of what you want to do. You want this to be not, I mean, if you engrave it, you're going to engrave a cavity, and then the rest of it would print. If that's what you want, that's fine. If not, let's back up here, and this is what I would do. We've got our two rings now. We'll delete this one. And because this center is going to be cut out, I would I would do this. Nudge that over. Do the inside. Nudge that over. I would still get rid of my black lines. And then I would nudge these back. And then that way, and because this is cut out, it'll cut this out and cut this out. And you're white will be left to represent the font if that makes any sense because when you're doing a stamp you want to take away what you don't want to for the rubber to hit now i would go back and do the first thing and if you have an epilogue uh, let me just change this real quick inside of epilogue print driver they have a I don't ever do it, but there's, there is a stamp. Let's go to advanced and stamp and then hit OK. And it's basically going to do the opposite. It's going to engrave the white and not the black. I would do this on a test piece of wood, just an old scrap piece of plywood, just to make sure you get the results you want. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.